hey, this is circuit number five. If you choose to do circuit number five, again, we'll run through the same thing. We're gonna do the basics. I'll show you how to modify, give you some ideas and run through, and then I'll go through counting 10. So I hope you enjoy it as you go. It's always helpful to count nice and loud so I know you're breathing, and you know you're breathing, and to make sure that you're standing nice and tall, use your diaphragm, strong in your whole body. So don't hesitate to pull in as much muscle structure as you can. All right, now this one, we're gonna do a tandem stance. So what that is, we're gonna bring one foot forward and the other one behind. So I call that a balance beam. So you can make your balance beam wide or narrow. So what this does is make you a little less steady. So you can always stand next to a countertop or have a chair handy if you need to. Or you can stand pretty wide. That's up to you. So we're going to add a little squat. So we're going to squat down, squat down, and then we're going to add in the letters. And here's your letters. So letter I goes straight up. That's our letter I. And then letter Y comes out to the side. Letter T, even make yourself a T. And then letter A comes out into an A. So we're going to squat and then run through that three times. So let's do that together. So we're going to squat, go up to I. Little squat, go to Y. Little squat, go to T. And little squat, go to A. So it's I, Y, T, and A, making sure that you stay tall for that whole process of moving your letters. The second exercise, then you move into a biceps curl that's in the front of your arms. So we're going to pull up like we have 50 pound bags of potatoes. So some of you may want to do one arm at a time. Some of you may want to do both together. You can go faster or slower. Just to make sure that you've got those 50 pounds. And then you can even stand on one foot, catch your balance as you go. So we pull and pull. So that would be our biceps curls. And then we change feet. So the foot that was in front in our tandem, now we change. And we have the other foot forward. So we're gonna have to find out, kind of get yourself familiar where you wanna be in your tandem stance. So you can stand one foot right in front of the other or make it a little wider. That's up to you. All right, so let's just run through that one again. So we go down, here's our I. And then our Y. Into our letter T. And then our letter A. And we would repeat that three times through. Then we're going to do two accelerations. So the first one is acceleration down. I don't know how you accelerate down, but we do. So you're going to reach your hands up nice and tall. You're going to grab onto that imaginary basketball. And I'm going to pull down as hard as I can, like it's stuck to the ceiling. And then I'm going to reach up nice and slow. I'm going to pull down. So my whole body needs to pay attention. And I'm going to drive up and pull. So notice how my breath is strong. So you can make that as quick and strong as you'd like. You don't have to pull up all the way. You can come up real strong and even hop up and come down. So that's totally up to you. So that's our acceleration down. And then we do just the opposite. We're going to start down, accelerate, hop, and then. basketball. Ha! Good. Let me hear you. It's good. All right. So that's our whole series. Not too bad. Just have to kind of pay attention as we go. So we're going to start out in our tandem. So one foot in front of the other and we're going to do our letters. Ready? I, then to a Y, to a T, to an A. Again, I, Y to our T and A. One last time through. Here's our I and Y and T and A. Then we come right into our biceps curl. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. An opposite foot comes forward in our tandem stance. I, Y, T, A. Ready? Here we go. Here's our I. 
and block. And T and A. Two more times through I and Y and T and A. Strong. One more. Way up and out. Strong. Good. Yes. That's the last one. Good. And then we're going to accelerate it down. So we get a nice strong posture. And here we go. One. Good job, that was circuit number five. Grab some water. 